I didn't I didn't recognize my house for a second here. I have a house. Good morning, everybody. I'm pretty late today, and I'm very sorry about that. But look, we we get a house. They still give houses to people who are late. Oh my dragon! That this looks so good. I just wanted to stop by and see how things were going. I'd say I can't believe you built this, but I totally can. I had this wallpaper and, and floor lying around, and I thought you'd appreciate it. City Hall has lots of other stuff to check out for you or your house, too. You should go stop by and say hi to Kenyatta if, she, if she's there. I'm sure she'll be super excited to help with your new home, too. Ooh, I can access your shop right here. Neat. What's this? A uh, recipe. Ranch stuff. Hmm. Modifications bench. Change furniture colors and designs. Interesting. Saran wrap. No, silk. Furniture maker's plaque. Oh. You need furniture making metals. I'm so curious about lots of this stuff. Bye, Trish. Tish. Bye. Oh. Hello there, vampire. How exciting. Tish has made, told me this drab little plot was getting a delightful makeover, and I just had to come see for myself. Ah, forgive me. Let me introduce myself. I am this town's tailor, resident tailor, Jell Omiata. Yes, Omiata is in the house of Omiata. You know, the most renowned fashion empire in the whole Bahari province. You haven't heard of the house of Omiata? Well, I suppose you did just materialize out of thin air yesterday, so you have a valid excuse. Nevertheless... I am so thoroughly pleased by your efforts. I wish to offer my services as your tailor. After all, with your plot coming along so beautifully, you should be equally exquisite as well, no? All you need to do is install wardrobe and open the doors. Feel free to try on any outfit that suits your fancy. Once you've done that, visit my register visit the register in my shop in Kilima to see everything I've made. Ah, my eager heart flutters at the very thought of laying eyes on, at you laying eyes on my latest work. All right, then. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have so many things to plant, don't I? Alright. Oh. I gotta get back to Hoenn. Hey kitty, stop playing with my mic. Thank you. 
We did it. Oh, wait. No, I need three more. Hang on. Gur, gur, gur. Kitty. Smacking your head against the mic is illegal. Stop it, kitty. Please. There we go. Almost looks like some kind of pattern. Almost. Now what do we actually do with this house? Suppose I could actually move my furniture into it. Here we go, so people can watch me sleep. You know, as people do. But yeah, if you don't have a ton of furniture... Sometimes this will do just fine. Like you got... The one bedroom or the dorm situation. You can do the whole, th whole treat the bed as a couch thing. You can sit over here while your friends over sit over there, and you have a your little talk conversations. You know, talk about. Things, stuff. There we go. I think I want to keep my treasure chest in here. My favorite one, anyway. <coughs> ah. Still dying, just a little bit. But we're getting there. Oh, and I can actually have a rug in a place that looks like it should have a rug. Oh, and then I have, ooh, this is wallpaper. I do like wood.
Ooh. It's kind of nice. I'll go with tile. I like tile better than I like hardwood floors in most cases. You can keep a little white up front. Alright, not bad, not bad. I'm not entirely homeless now. Oh, right, right, right. Um, can I make another table? Need some sapwood. Let's make some sapwood. Got something important to make. Or to decorate with, anyway. Oh, I can make more tents? Might do that at some point. But right now, I was going for another table. Which I can't seem to find now? There it is. We got food. We made some soups. Now what we need is like a candelabra for the middle. Oh my gosh, I just can't have you that close to the edge. I thought I could. I can't. And you bring it in a little bit. <coughs> yeah. I love this. A little commemorative placing uh, for, for when we put our food up there or when we made food with our friends. Stop it. There we go. Mailbox. Zeki, dear Sugarheart, here's a little something of mine as thanks for your continued patronage, pal. Don't spend it all in one place. All right. Dear Sugarheart, looks like you got yourself a handy dandy Zeki's expanded backpack. How's the storage space treating you? No more trips back home every half a sun cycle, right? Anyway, I just, I just say thanks for being a loyal customer. <coughs> Dear Sugarheart, you've be been such a good neighbor. Figured I'd give you a few things to help you get started in your new home. Do you like things? Thank you. Dear Sugarheart, now that you've got all those vegetables, you're going to need some place to store them, right? You could store them in a tree, but uh, might I suggest a pan tree instead? In all seriousness, I made you a pan tree out of, out of spruce to spruce up your kitchen. Hope you like it. I don't, I don't have a kitchen, but cool, cool. I 
I can't complain. He gave me free stuff. Let's see. I was about to go do things. Oof. You do not look like you belong in a home at all. You do look right at home in a workshop, though. Take that. So many stuffs. 